Good morning, everyone, and hello, Karen. Um, I'm just going to take you through the points where you oil on a treadle, but also the bearings so that you know where to grease. Um, we'll start with the oiling first. So um, this is my 66K treadle. Um, the oil points are just a drop of oil on this hinge here and also on this one here. Okay, um, this is your pitman rod, which is going all the way up to the main crank of the wheel. Um, you can just drop one or two. I mean, it only needs one or two, two drops of oil, but um, a drop of oil just in there, that just helps to run that smoothly. When you come up here, a drop of oil there and a drop of oil on this side. Um, it's just, it's the moving parts you want to, to oil. There's also, if I just slide around on this side, uh, a drop of oil, oil just on there. The oil will just lubricate um, those moving in parts, but the oil will drip out, which is why I've got a little bit of carpet under mine to collect it all up. The bearings, however, because the bearings are so small, um, they do heat up because every time you move this, or every time you're, you're treadling, essentially, um, those bearings are taking the brunt of the speed of the, the treadling. So if I come up close, and I'm really hoping that you'll see this. So your bearings, you can just about see one of those bearings there. Tiny little silver balls. Now you've got a run of those bearings all the way around this mechanism. That's, that's where you need to put grease. Now the grease that I use... Oh dear, I've put it down and now I can't find where I put it. Aha, I found it. This is what I use, uh, Singer Lubricant. It's for the motors, if you've got any um, Singer motor. Um, so, so this is what you would normally put in your, your motor, but it works the same for those, those bearings as well. I got this from that, that selling site. Um, but I think you can probably get it on Amazon or if not, um, Dave will sell, um, motor grease. That's all you need is a bit of motor grease. Um, I work, um, in the bus industry, so I've got some engineering, um, grease as well. Any sort of grease is fine. The reason why you need grease on these bearings is because the grease isn't going to go away as such it well it, it takes a lot longer for that grease to to wear out or to to dry out um and to drip through and you only need a, a tiny bit i mean i'm using a good old-fashioned um knitting needle but you just need a drop of grease just to go pop 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 all the way around just a, a little bit of a blob it won't drip the way sewing machine oil does if you do put, put sewing machine oil in here um, it will, the sewing machine oil essentially, although it will lubricate, it will also wash out the grease that's already in there. Um, if there isn't any grease, which will cause a, a horrible grindy sort of noise anyway, but if you put sewing machine oil there in there, it will lubricate the bearings, but that oil will eventually drip out and then you'll just have muck just going all the way down your pitman rod. Um, you might find that your pitman rod will also get um, quite sticky because it's washing away the grease from your bearings all the way down and then clunging up all of that area. Um, so grease is the best thing to put there. Um, I don't know if there's any on the end of my thing. No, the, um, yeah, there is a little bit. Just where I've poked it, there is, probably can't focus on that, but there's a tiny bit of muck on there. Because you've greased it, if you do grease it, that grease will stay there and it will just run lovely and smooth. These these are old, so I mean mine, if I just move my wheel slightly, there's, there's a slight bit of movement on there. Um, but it will, if I just get it going. Okay, it's making a slight noise because the belt's not on, but that's moving nice and smoothly. But you can see that where the bearings are, that's taking so much of the speed for your wheel and that's why if they go if you don't grease them and they they heat up they will explode or crack and then then you're going to get bits of bearing in here you're going to get bearings 
um, probably ending up down in your pitman rod, but they're going to be tiny pieces of metal and that's going to be really horrific to try and get out. If you can, and this is what I did, I took apart this treadle. So I undid these bolts here on both sides. I took both of those off. I managed to take the whole wheel mechanism apart. And essentially all I ended up with was the side frame here, the main bit, because I couldn't get those bolts off, they were so hot. Um, but I managed to get the wheel and the pitman rod, everything else off, gave, gave them a good clean, and then I resprayed the whole treadle, which was why mine's looking um, um, nice and shiny, apart from the bits that I didn't spray, like the spring. Um, and the, the, there's two bolts up to the bottom that I didn't spray, but it did make it um, run a lot better because I had stripped it all down. It did mean that I had to re-grease these bearings and I didn't know about that at the time until later so mine was making a funny noise but it was the bearings making that noise so if you do nothing else even if you don't oil the treadle just make sure that you grease that either with single lubricant motor grease or engine grease um it's something from like like um any sort of mechanic will give you a, a t and you only need a tiny tiny amount but all you need to do is just Pop that on a toothpick or a knitting needle and just, just poke that grease all the way in and then you'll find it will run just a lot smoother. Okay, well, I hope that's been helpful for you. Um, you can give me a shout if, if you're still not sure of anything. Okay, bye-bye.